Hey people, anybody recognize this? Hmm, well, look a little familiar by, hold on, there's a camera, okay, see that? Ground, uh-huh, and it didn't blow a fuse. Alright, so, anyway, what I've done, I had a processor heat sink, uh, laying around. I had that thing's, oh, good lord, probably ten years old or better. Put a Arctic 80 millimeter temperature controlled fan. It's got a uh, thermal line on it. The hotter it gets, the faster the fan spins. And this is stop. This is what it's supposed to look like. Be nice if this thing would focus. There it goes. Anyway, alright. Both these two have problems. This one, the current sensor, or the current adjuster, is quite finicky. If I ram it in all the way to rush the current up, it's subject to go in bypass mode and won't amplify the output. So I have to screw it all the way down for current max and back it out by three turns. Um, now I've already replaced the MOSFET in this. Uh, reason being, when I first got it, couldn't get it to work. Fault light on or off. No output. And after I changed the MOSFET, it still kind of didn't want to work, but then when I went to messing with uh, all of the adjusters, um, it started working. I'm like, oh, cool, nice. Uh, by that time, I done got a refund. Uh, this one stopped working after 10 minutes. So... I got a refund, put it on the side shelf, bought this one, and it was acting stupid. Got a refund, pulled the MOSFET out of this, put it in here, this one started working. So now, my battery pack, after my load drain um, that I had <coughs> done a little while back, it's been over a week ago now. I used this and the computer power supply to charge this pack. And it worked. Worked just fine. Um, I actually took it and put it on a heat sink to let it soak up some heat. Matter of fact, this heat sink didn't have it hard mounted. I've got it thermal taped now, so yeah. Yeah, that, that thermal tape I got from Amazon. Well, you clean that aluminum with some arctic cleaner and that thermal tape will stick good mm-hmm um anyway when I tried to use this the second time after charging that it lasted about five minutes and quit <clears throat> so it's time to replace the MOSFET and uh I uh, couldn't really find the original. I think I did find like a s replacement type, but I couldn't find the name brand in the U.S. So I found another brand, did some comparing, and that's what's in this now. And it's working. 17 amp output constant. 12 volt input. 87 volts out 
all the way down to um, about a volt <clears throat> above your input voltage. So what happened here today is I'm doing some testing on charging batteries. And I'm actually using a 450 watt computer power supply to simulate solar. Um, and what they don't tell you is, yes, you're okay at 20 amp on the out, but this thing won't do 20 amp, it'll do 17 constant, if you put it on a heavier heat sink. Now, the input, I had two gauges for current reading. One in, one out. This was 17. This was 22. Um, so these posts will not handle a 22 amp constant out. Um, most likely, you're not going to be safe until you get it down around 10 to maybe 12 amp constant input. Um, I realize that cuts you short on the out. But hey... If you want to modify the input, then sure, go for it. And that is what I am going to do. Um, I really don't help, hope I don't have to modify the traces on the bottom side of the board because, hey, I've got this thing thermal tape. And I'm going to be hating life if I have to replace that MOSFET. Anyway, I thought I'd share that. Um, have a good day.